Hey guys, welcome to a new video, Freya Dushan here. In today's video, uh, I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna process uh, this little pile of a uh, potentiometer. This is a potentiometer from uh, electronic, electronic boards. And uh, here I got uh, two different species. So I got a blue one, I got a yellow one. For example, I got just one I got just one a gray one and uh, this stuff uh, usually contain some silver and sometimes palladium but sometimes contain even a gold inside so uh, here on this white paper I got around 300 gram of this potentiometer uh, this blue one is very easy to remove but uh, this yellow one it's hard always the bottom part always stay on board and uh, this is how they look so right now i'm gonna try to show you what you can expect from uh, what potentiometer here okay i open a four different pieces of this potentiometer uh, the common on this pile is this blue one. Yeah, you see the mark on it. And uh, when I crack it inside, you can see, you see that little braze right and left on that uh, black part. Well, this braze is a uh, sometimes silver sometimes palladium on different side on different side you got this little screw this is a brass and uh, if you see let's try focus on the side yeah you see that white part on the top this is an actually a little little microscopic wire here on the top and that wire is a sometime palladium sometimes silver uh, when I open the yellow one this wire stay inside on the screw you see that yeah you see this is a lot of number of that white wire and the similar like the blue one we got the down part with a brace see that very nice to see uh, the gray one is a similar only you got the white brass here the down part is bigger see you see much better right now see the brace and here we got some contact wire yeah so this free sometimes in silver sometimes time contain palladium but if you are a lucky guy I got only a three pieces of them uh, you can find a this little guy so this is the small one square one see the mark yeah I broke the mark sorry and uh, inside you got the gold see that very nice you got the gold inside and uh, inside of this this one you can find very nice piece of gold plated metal see that if you put this metal in the nitric acid you will left with a very very thick gold foil and that the contact wire it's much bigger one here than on this other one and uh, it's gold too so these two gold pieces you can find in this one okay but it's not common like this one okay but today 
we, did, we will not recover any gold. I just want to show you this little guy. If you find it, take it. Today we're gonna process uh, this common potentiometer on the boards uh, with the silver and palladium. So, silver, palladium and sometime gold in potentiometer. But today we're gonna recover only silver and palladium. So right now I will take a beaker and uh, I will remove all the extra plastic. I will take only part with the noble metal and I'm gonna process that for silver and palladium, okay? Okay guys, let's start. Okay, so right now in this beaker I have separate concentrate material, see that? So right now I am add dilute nitric acid, one half uh, distillated water and one other half uh, nitric acid. So I can dissolve all the base metal and uh, absorb silver and palladium. Okay. Okay guys, so I washed that little beaker a couple of time and uh, on the bottom I can't see any residue here. This is our solution, dilute with the uh, distillated water. The next step is uh, to drop some silver, okay? Okay, so I use some hydrochloric acid to drop silver there. And yes, you see, very decent amount of silver inside this potentiometer. Very, very cool. Just a little more. Nope, no more silver. We drop everything. Now I will filter that silver chloride. And uh, next step is uh, to denox that nitric acid and uh, drop some palladium, okay?
Okay guys, so after filtration, this is the result what I got. This yellow orange mix small uh, palladium particles. Palladium you can get in a couple of different uh, colors like uh, yellow colors or, uh, or uh, uh, orange yellow color or uh, red brick palladium. So it depends from uh, what material you can get, you can get it or uh, from uh, on what process you use. Okay, this time I got these. So I don't expect too much palladium like I said when I when I finish the process, I will see how much, but when I see this filter, I actually did not expect even 0.1 gram. Who knows? Let's see. So, uh, next step is uh, dry that filter, go to calcification. So, I'll put that filter in the metal dish and put on a fire. The fire will uh, burn filter with that slug and uh, this step called calcific calcification and after that I'll go to melt, okay? Hey guys, I finished the melting and uh, this two little piece of metal is uh, our result. First, this piece of silver, nice shiny silver uh, from the silver chloride we have 1.2 gram of silver and this little ugly palladium bead, it's look much better than this silver. Okay guys, so you see the result and uh, not bad for a test video, I hope you like that. Okay guys, so uh, on the end, is this video profitable? Actually, uh, on one side not, on other side yes. Uh, I have a 300 gram of this uh, potentiometer, but when I remove all the brass, all extra plastic, I left with uh, only one finger top cover of the bottom of the beaker and uh, not, not uh, too much material uh, to work. So one kilogram whole potentiometer uh, will not give you even a one gram of palladium, but they'll give you a couple of gram of silver. Uh, remember one stuff, uh, not all potentiometer will be the same. Uh, why? Because maybe some other manufacturer have uh, less or uh, more that precious metal, but uh, you need to know that the same manufacturer uh, when produce some stuff for different countries will not make that stuff the same for uh, USA, for uh, Europe, for uh, Africa, for, uh, for Asia. So uh, definitely always is a different uh, result, okay. Uh, is that worth, uh, worth for me to make some money? No, but in the future I know what to collect or what not, okay. And uh, on the end of this video I want to make some shout out. Uh, my friend and colleague uh, start at his own YouTube channel and he he's on the beginning. So got only two video and uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow he will post uh, his third video but I want to share a link uh, to
to his channel and uh, you can go on that channel and subscribe and watch hit, the, hit some like uh, give the man some nice start on the YouTube uh, maybe in the future you will see some similar stuff uh, like on my channel maybe you will see uh, the same and a similar tool because we are working together sometime and we change our tools and our materials so if you see something similar on his channel what you already see in my channel uh, and if you see on my channel what you already see what you will see in the future on his channel we are work together sometime the name of his channel is a uh, gold recovery 88 uh, right on the beginning to make some YouTube channel okay and uh, I will put some link in the description of this video down there so go with the channel and if you want just hit that subscribe button and uh, you will not be sorry because the man have a lot of knowledge definitely definitely Stay around guys I hope you like this video and of course subscribe to my channel if you're not already and uh, in the next video I will test some uh, low high voltage resistor for a silver okay uh, I got a couple of that that one and uh, uh, they contain uh, some uh, uh, nickel silver alloy so uh, I will hope to recover some silver for that okay see you guys for additional cheers